Hey, Internet world, this is Jason Collins for CentennialHomes.com. Today we are in Bismarck, North Dakota at the Centennial Homes Model Home Center. It is a gray, overcast day today, but I'm okay with that. We've had quite the heat wave coming through here, so these sort of 50-something, 60-something days are definitely a refreshing break from the 90-something and 100-something we've been dealing with. But today we're going to take a look at the Durango. I want you guys to see what we're talking about here. Take a look at this jewel, guys. Blue four inch vinyl Dutch lap siding. What does that mean, Jason? Well, that means this beautiful blue color is gonna hold up to weather, it's gonna hold up to hail, it's gonna hold up longer than something that you would have painted or whatever. It looks nice, it is low maintenance. It is just an awesome feature on a home. Also like the fact that they've got the faux shakes, kind of offset things here a little bit, break up the front profile of this gorgeous Friendship Homes. Centennial has been exclusive with Friendship Homes for as long as I've been with them, and I started in 2008, so that's a very long time for them to be exclusive with one manufacturer, and there's a reason for that, guys. It's because Friendship, part of the Fairmont family of homes, they're producing some awesome homes in their Montevideo, Minnesota factory, which is where this home came from. So let's pop inside and take a look. Really quickly, before we jump into this Durango, which you can see it's absolutely fantastically gorgeous, and it is. Um, hey, we're looking at 2,315 square feet. This one is a big one. But before we get into that, I want to remind you guys, if you like the content that you're seeing on this channel, do me a favor and subscribe. The majority of you guys who see these videos aren't even subscribed. YouTube channels live and die by the subscriber, so that's super helpful for me. Give us a thumbs up. That tells YouTube you like the content that we're producing and you'd like to see more of it, and they'll bring you more of the same. And then do me another favor. Help me help you. Drop a comment below. Let me know. Hey, do you like these big doubles? Man, this one's gorgeous. Do you want to see more of this? I'll make sure we bring it to you. Triple wide, single wide. You tell me what you're looking for, and I'll make sure I chase it down. So let's take a look at this Durango four bedroom, two bath. Look at these. Look at this farmhouse accent stuff. This thing is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. We've got a formal living room right in here. Check that out. And then that opens up into the kitchen area, dining area right over there. And then that is seamlessly connected to a second living space. Jason, why do we need two living spaces? Well, I can tell you this. The way that this house is laid out, four bedroom, two bath, three bedrooms are on this end of the house and then your other your master suite is all the way on the other end of the house so if you've got kids you can kind of put them on one end mom and dad can be on the other end so people can be doing their own thing in their own space so that second living area works out really well for that let's pop back here let me give us a little light in this bedroom let me see here actually before i turn the light on i'm going to show you guys something I'm going to pan up. We're seeing this more and more, and that is recessed LED can lights. And what does that do for us? Well, number one, we know the LED lights are way more energy efficient and long lasting than incandescent or even compact fluorescent bulbs. Um, and they're actually easier on the eyes. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but every light bulb, electronic light bulb, gives off a frequency. So the light's not just on constantly. It, it flickers. It has a flicker rate or a refresh rate. And so compact fluorescents have been linked to uh, some unpleasant things causing headaches and different things like that. And so the LEDs are a little easier on our old brains to process the light, a little easier on our pocketbook when it comes to energy efficiency guest bathroom right here guys single piece fiberglass tub surround what does that mean jason well i'll tell you what it means it means that you're going to have less maintenance issues because 
where the tub meets the wall, there's no seam. There's no grout. There's no caulking to be done there. You don't have to replace that, right? So that's number one, low maintenance. Where the walls meet in the corner, same thing. No seams, single piece. And so what that also does for you is this. Anytime you have a seam, you have increased chance of water infiltration, water seeping down behind your bathtub, unseen, causing damage. You don't know it's happening until it's too late. Those problems are definitely minimized with a single piece fiberglass tub surround. So that's what we've got here. We also have ample under sink storage right there. Great guest bathroom. Take a look over here at, let's move, let's move over here. Take a look over here at the utility room. If you watch these videos very often, you know I love the idea of having an indoor on the utility room. You can put a garage on the side of that. That breaks up the long profile of the front of the house, and it gives you an opportunity to be able to come in from the outside, wash up in a deep utility sink. If you've got muddy feet from work or play, you can be on the low-maintenance vinyl flooring, and then always we've got space right over here for a full-size washer and dryer. The water hookups are right there. Look at this. Light, natural, stained wood fronts on the cabinets. You've got your HVAC system right there behind that. And then right here behind this panel, you've got your electrical 200 amp service. So that means you can run all of your high current drain appliances, gadgets without having to worry about tripping the old breaker. All right, let's explore over here a little bit. We should find two more bedrooms right over here and take a look at this. This is a four bedroom, three bath home. Look at that, same single fiberglass tub surround, same ample storage under your sink, low maintenance vinyl flooring and great comfy carpet in the bedrooms. Nice size, number two slash number three bedroom. And right across the hall here, we have the twin to this room. Just like that. Complete with closet. And I want to show you guys, take a look at this. All of the homes that you're going to get from Centennial are going to come with two-inch vinyl mini blinds already installed so you don't have to worry about running out to menards or walmart or whatever and getting that i love it but i know what you guys want to do you want to see the kitchen you want to see the master suite we're going to take a look at all that take a look at this honey colored cabinetry in this kitchen and take a look count if you will how many cabinet doors are in this kitchen? Well, there's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve overhead cabinet doors, drawer over door storage, which means everywhere there's a base cabinet door, there's going to be a drawer with the exception of right at the sink because you can't do that, and also a three drawer bank over there. Stainless steel appliance packages, modern stainless and smoked glass range hood, built-in microwave. Look at this thing. I love this kitchen. I think that with the combination of ample window light, the pendant lights above the bar, and the recessed LED lighting in the ceiling, it just really makes this kitchen shine. No pun intended, or maybe pun intended. I don't know. Your pantry... Ladies and gentlemen, your pantries are hidden right here behind the sliding barn doors. So you slide those closed. That hides your pantry area. We've got another one right over here, just like the other one. Slide that closed just like that. And then that reveals a built-in buffet. So if you enjoy entertaining, if you like having the family over for the holidays, you can put plenty of turkey and dressing and salads and all kinds of stuff right there on that buffet. 
ample storage below for your good serving dishes. Formal living room, guys, got the aircraft style ceiling fan, recessed ceiling with faux beams. Just adds a little bit of class and pizzazz to that room. Master bedroom suite. Now let's talk about this room for a moment because this room has, I mean, it's got, a, it's got a great bathroom. We're going to take a look at that. It's got a great sized master bathroom closet or master suite closet, rather. But I want you guys to take a look at what's behind me here. Let's look at this. Look back here. What is that? Well, okay. It could be a home office. It could be a reading nook. It could be a nursery if you're thinking about having a baby. It's actually called the Sweet Retreat. And when this was first sort of introduced in this floor plan, this was billed as sort of the place for mom and dad to escape from the hectic bustle and hustle of being a parent. So you can sit down in here. Maybe if you had your big screen TV up there or something, you could kind of have your own little space back here. But personally, I really see this as a nursery. This would make a great nursery. And then when the baby gets big enough to move into their own bedroom, you could turn it into whatever you like. Same recessed ceiling, LED can lights, super nice area. Hey, let's pop right in here and take a look at this closet. I think you will be impressed with this. Impressed with the size impressed with the storage okay take a look at that and look at this this is something you don't see very often I'll tell you why this is important you've got see if i can get my light right here you've got a vent an hvac vent in the closet now jason why, why is that important well it's important because you get the same climate controlled air in your closet that you're getting in the rest of your house so that's really going to help equalize humidity in this room. And so a lot of times closets don't have ample ventilation. They wind up closed up a lot of times. And so your clothes and stuff can kind of get musty, you know, if they're not getting proper airflow. Gigantic walk-in shower. We've seen this in other floor plans, but I'm going to point it out for you because I think it's kind of cool. Steam jets. Right here's a pair of steam jets. And then right down here is another pair of steam jets, removable wand. And then up here at top, we've got a rain head shower head. I really like that. I also like the fact that it's relatively low threshold. So as you get older, you'll be able to get in and out of that with ease. We've got the business center going on right in there. Nice, ample linen closet right there guys and then as always we've got his and hers sinks with the same gorgeous cabinetry that we saw in the kitchen hey guys this is jason collins for centennial homes if you want to find out more information about this gorgeous home you can do so by popping on over to centennialhomes.com they're happy to schedule a tour for you here in bismarck or at any of their seven locations spread across the Midwest. Hey, I appreciate the fact that you guys are watching our content, and I will see you next time.